I'm Daily Fix and welcome to part 10 of our X4 Foundations series. So what do you expect from this episode? In this episode, I hope to achieve Del Buster. And that brings me to my very first question to you. What mission storyline-ish will we follow next? Please let me know that in the comments section. Also, I would like to start setting up a ship to do advanced auto trade-in. Uh, we have three fleets right now doing the fill shortages. Now, that fills shortages uh, wherever it sees shortages. It's not guarantee you a profit. So, with a level 3 pilot, and um, I know I've been sitting on this one pilot for a while now, but we're actually going to be using him. If he is a level three manager in the ice refinery, we don't need a level, well, actually I do need a level three on that to actually reach the um, the other factory. But you know, let's not worry about that right now. We just need to make sure that this guy gets into a ship and he will start making profits. And I quite like Profits. Uh, might as well go ahead. Let's take a look. How are you doing? You are absolutely a level two right now. It seems you have an order going. One of my dogs decided actually it's a good place to whine for attention. Is he in front or behind me? Let's take a look. Well, he is definitely behind me. That's great. Love dogs. Not so much for recording. So hopefully you don't have too many issues with that so let's just get this guy whenever he's done with this particular order we're going to be sending him to the uh fill shortage fleet for the patriarch then all of these have free ships and i think that is going to be enough for now eventually these guys will level up they will be turned into three stars and we'll just start rotating captains again. That means I do want to invest a tiny bit into another ship. And this ship, I kind of want it to be a bit faster than we have so far. So let's go in medium. Let's go into a boa transporter. I really love the shape of these. Cargo containers, not so much, but we've talked about this in the past, right? So, yeah, let us set this up. But first things first, guys. So, if you're watching this video and you want to help me out with them almighty YouTube algorithm gods, then, you know, please consider sharing the video, leaving a quick like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Yes. Okay, here we end the ad. Uh, I decided I had to go. There's just not much going on with them. Uh, let's take a look. What do we want? So, this ship mainly is going to be in travel. We cannot get the combat uh, engines yet because, well, our standing isn't plus 10. That's why the star is there. The combat engine could actually be very beneficial because it increases the speed per meter. So if he is not in traveling speed, he will go faster. For now, are we going to make this incredibly expensive? Um, well, let's just start with not that expensive by the looks of it that is a huge increase for a whopping how much is that 700 not even 700 it's like six something uh how much does it compare with this yeah that's uh that's a damn joke i i don't like that at all i i kind of never use all-round engines on small mediums you know large you don't really have an option, but, you know, we all know. Uh, all round or combat, I usually always go for combat engines because I want these guys to maneuver. Especially in asteroid fields or, you know, if they want to escape, uh, being able to, you know, quickly change your uh, bearing... I think is going to be quite important. As for shields, these split shields are a absolute joke. Do I want to have engines? Uh, combat. Yeah, you know what? That, this is going to be one of the first that actually will have two ways of defending himself. Once we get a bit further into the game, I want 
these to be flag cannons. The uh, that that is the Argon Federation turrets, uh, and I quite like them. They're especially good against smaller ships. Now, the docking computer Mark II is not very needed for NPCs, but it does actually help them a bit. They don't need a long range scanner because we're not scouting with them. They are definitely, they don't need a police scanner. They need a basic scanner. Targeting computer is for, you know, for the smaller things like containers. So you don't need it. Trading computer, definitely need them. I also will give you flares and I'm going to be giving you, let's give you 10. 15 laser towers mark one the reason for it if we change settings we can actually allow the ships to escape while deploying laser towers mark one and i think that is you know actually not too bad it, it does cost us a bit of money hopefully he will be well worth it kind of don't need a captain but we have no choice and we're not getting service crew because we have plenty let us save this as, um, what shall we call it? The other one was actually like basic trait. So, and this is still very much basic trading. Uh, when we get later game, we'll get better engines, better, because why not, right? Let's go basic uh, trait BT. Yeah, let's call them BT, whatever. Uh, this is the BOA basic trading. 21 turrets components. Ah, oh, you got to love the split. They are always shy and stuff. It's still quite a lot of our budget. Is it worth it? Is it actually worth it? How about this? We, and I'm still paused because I kind of don't want to lose my stuff when I'm not paying attention to it. Uh, let's just do what I've been doing ever. I know, waste of time and stuff like that. Let's go Vanguard, go medium. Let's just call it to medium. Pre no, that's not even necessary. Let's just do it like this. Done. When he's done, we'll send it to the, to the Taladi station. He'll be just the same as every other ship. You know, wasted five minutes of your time. And I'm very sorry for that. Yeah, I know. So, let us... Where are we currently? We are over here with Yetik Fuss. There is a Marauder over there who's going to get his ass kicked. Uh, don't have problems with that. Extended fuel containers we don't need. Let's just continue the mission and we'll get some laser towers when we actually need to. Let's on pause. We're counting on you. Yeah, we are going to be undocking asp. in our asp. I won't let you get away with that. Uh, let's go. Right Where do we need to go? Let's see. We're going to meet a scale plate lieutenant. I've been building a profile on him for a while now. This guy demands respect and loves collecting fine items. I think we can butter him up by presenting a nice tribute. I have a list of things I think he'll show interest in. Oh god. I'll be counting on you to gather them. When you're done, meet me at the scale plate station. Uh what do we need to get? We're almost ready to meet the scale plate what? lieutenant. Come speak to me on the station. Okay, I'm going to assume that whatever it is that we need, we already have. So, let's autopilot over there. I'll meet you at the station. I think after this station, or after this mission, uh, we need to get ourselves those uh, laser towers. And the ship here is done, so let's quickly send him towards the Taladi... Give him the distribution. Add that. Confirm order. Yeah, that's a lot cheaper. I don't want to waste my money right now. Okay, while we are slowly getting to the station, there's one other thing that I want to talk to you about. Actually, there's two. One of them is there is most likely going to be a new series quite soon. Um, it's going to be about the Star Wars interlu of Interworld uh, mod. Let you know the, the complete total conversion. Hopefully you are going to be excited about that. I know that I am. Um, I'm still working out the final details. Um, the other thing is our POS. 
right over there, has been struggling getting the materials to get the uh, the hacking thing done. So I might just have to make sure that we continue to grow our base, uh, and we'll do that by just buying the blueprints until we get those things done. Let's get out of this. Please. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, I'm going to be buying the spice blueprint and most likely the medical supplies blueprint to really like, you know, spit it out. Uh, let's head over here. I still think that uh, hopefully they did change the mission. Uh, it looks like it, but there used to be cargo containers in the way. So this mission would, you know, not be too visible. It seems that there's no cargo containers at the moment. So that would be great if that is the case. You made it. Good work. Let's hope my intuition was on Let's the take a look. If they're no... ready to meet the scale plate lieutenant. Captain. This is him. Yeah, okay, Anyone cool. Actually, they did move it. Well now, Argon, it is a good thing you have turned up. I am glad you haven't wasted my time. Hello, I'm Dalbusta. I'm very grateful that you agreed to meet with us. I am well aware of who you are and who you represent. Come, we shall speak alone. Very well then. Sorry, looks like it's a private party. Sure, that's fine. Security would like to remind all the- Captain Busta expected this to happen. He instructed that you should head back to Hatikba and await communications. We'll be fine. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Let's, uh... Let's just forget that we completely had this pointless trip. Uh, and let's undock and go to Reno Ma. I think we'll get the laser tower mission i kind of don't know how many there were again uh somewhere in my mind it says like i need five laser towers but yeah i'm not very certain about it at the moment let's quickly take a look what's going on everything is you are currently heading there that's fine we are still waiting for this guy to deliver the water. He's almost there. Then we'll actually reassign him towards the Pedro. So I've changed all of these names. And the main reason for it is the following. Whenever you're flying around and some of your ships get attacked. Especially if you're having like 200 ships. It's going to be quite difficult for you to you know, find them. These little hints you know, will actually help to really shorten the list of the ships that are being attacked. So if it says Argon, uh, uh, Fill Shortage, Vulture, I know that I have to be in the Argon, Fill Shortage, Fleet, because all of these ships have the same name. Not the call sign, but at least the same name. Uh, that's at least how I like to do it. Uh, we need to check, actually, do we have another... Entering system, Morningstar. Another guy would be a good manager. Let's take a look. This is Reen. I'll send you data on where we need a hand. Okay, so what I'll do is... Get on the line. We need backup now. The hell? Autopilot disengaged. Uh, apparently we need to defend these ships. Sure, let's go. Solo pilot. Engaged. Hopefully we can do it. As not very good on shields. So now we're getting into combat. Please never fly dead ahead into AI ships. Always do a bit of strafing. Maybe do a bit of a quick roll. You know, just don't take punches by, you know, say the Auto slowest pilot. weapons. Oh, apparently... Alright, uh, whatever, I guess. Uh, they don't need my help anymore. That's perfect. Whatever. Um, what I was saying, don't get hit by plasma. Please. <laughs> Please. Like, it's not necessary. Plasma is slow as hell. Just strafe out of its trajectory. It will help and will cost... Well, it saves you money. 
Uh, let's go to Reen. And uh, I'll meet you up there while I'll take a quick look. This guy is now done. So that means we're going to be telling him that you from now on are going to be mimicking Commander's behavior in the Patriarch. And we also need to quickly rename you because of reasons I just told you. And then once he is part of this, he's currently undocking. We are going to be manually sending him to territory over here. Because with the Patriarch it takes a bit of time for them to start working. Hopefully they will do that particularly fast. Let's take a look if anything is not in order. Entering system. Uh, yeah, Patriarch choice. trade only. Come on, mate. You... You're still undocking. You're, now you're just lying to me. I hate that. There you go. That's better. So, this ship. Let's go over here. He's with the smart chip factory. Over there. Let's send this guy... Over here. Fly and wait over there. Auto. Do keep that in mind. <laughs> you know, you don't want this ship to be there for like the next million years and also the xenon have been more and more active in the sector and i kind of do want to do something about that Drill. let's go dog sentinel ah oh, captain i have a doll on the line could you repeat that doll scale plate have made a number of demands in return for them stopping harassing hatikva assets i'll be sending you the details as well as some additional suggestions Aren't these demands a bit much? We're supposed to be breaking ties with them, not working closer. It's either this, or rely on Argon government to bail you out on this mess. <sighs> fine, I'll make the arrangements. Good. Follow the instructions and everything should work out fine. For now, I have other business to take care of. Take care, doll. Okay. It looks like I've got some favors to call in. As you've helped us out so much, I'll wire you some additional credits. It seems we are finally getting to the end of this mess. There are still some loose ends to tie up. Yeah, okay. Acting on the information you gathered with Dahl, we sent out a number of automated drones to attack caches of scale plate supplies. In hindsight, maybe not the best idea. They're yeah. not responding to the deactivation signal. We need pilots to go out and destroy them before they scupper any chances of a deal. All right. Uh, I thought this was the other one, but we get four hundred thousand for this one, so yeah, can't really complain about that. Let's go back, shortcut, uh, shift D, back to our ship, and let's go deal with these damn drones. I wonder if they will all attack me, and I'm going to assume <laughs> yes. Uh, that's at least two. Come on. Ah, I just have these damn weapons. They're just a joke. A bit slower. Don't let them overtake you. No, stay behind them. That's one. Let's go. Recharge them. Shield, don't boost. Please. Okay, I'm already strafing downwards. That's why you see that I'm shooting like upwards. And that's two. Defense drone. That's 12 kilometers out. And that is actually the Auto leader. Pilot. So let's go down. Engaged. Might as well just go as close as possible, right? So we will be attacked from the Auto rear. Pilot. We need to Disengage. really pay attention to that. There you go, there's the other one also coming. Defense drone. There you go. Start straving. See, he's almost not hitting me. I'm saying almost, because of course he will. It's 
like I hit him as well, so makes sense, right? And that should be it. There's a log box. Good job dealing with those drones. Do I care as about that? Settlement with Scalplate, we're constructing a new production complex. This is a huge project, and we need to ensure it's safe until we hand it over. Dahl suggested that we should deploy some static defenses around it. I'll send you the station's location. Interesting. Come on. There you go. Container. Wow, average price? <laughs> That's not bad at all. Well, let's get the heck out of here. Engaged. Uh, laser towers, targeting area. Hopefully. Actually, we don't have those yet. Let's set course to... <laughs> let's set course to the Ark Confederation. Well, carrying halogenics or hallucinogenics, whatever. Uh, let's take a look at our ship, actually. Are you done? You are currently waiting. Okay, let's, uh, let's pause. We're going to be shuffling the following. So, the harvesting node will always only distribute to the distribution, so the manager is not going to be important. This guy, however, is a excellent pilot, I believe. Yeah, you're not. Where the hell is the other guy? I think he's in here, isn't he? Piloting no? What the hell? Uh, ice refinery, that's it. This 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 guy. You. Uh you're gonna be working over here, Captain. Except then we're going to be sending the harvesting dude, him, to work somewhere else. You're gonna be working at the ice refinery. And we're going to be getting ourselves a new manager. From apparently the solid distribution one. So we are going to be working over here as a manager. Congratulations with your promotion. Also, while we are paused, we might as well go take a quick look on the crew numbers. Transfer crew. Now these could actually come into combat. So what we'll do is we'll just load everyone up. We'll keep three guys on uh, this one. And now we just have to wait for the pilot. All of these are here. The pilot seems to be there. Not sure yet. Anyways, let's set this up. Where do we want um where do we want this fleet to be? Safest. Well, Tladi Space definitely isn't the safest. Argon Space. Well. Why not? Let's just go ahead and set it up as Taladi. So we're going to be putting him on a trade restriction, say Taladi only. And it's going to be advanced auto trade. Okay, so I set it up. The anchoring space is going to be Bright Promise. We have a gate distance to buy and sell of three. So that would be one, two, three, all the way to open market. Would be one, two, three, all the way to grand exchange. Memory of profit. And actually, uh, one, two, three, company regard. Actually, the entire Taladi space. So Bright Promise is going to be it. Bright Promise, confirm that. Now... <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the renaming because uh, this might be an interesting fleet. Uh, rename. And we're just going to do what we always do. That means brackets. Uh, Taladi. Ah, uh, maybe AT would have been nobody. AAT sounds almost like an organization. Might as well just go ahead and do that. So the Taladi AAT, hopefully, we're going to be monitor monitoring this guy. Hopefully, we'll do great. We might need to buy another ship, assign him back to the solid distribution. So we can actually distribute the water. Uh, yeah, let's just do that real quickly. Buy ships. We'll just do the same thing like we've always been doing. Minimum preset. 
add and confirm when it's done we'll just send them over there assign them back over here to the solid distribution and we'll just see what happens so let us dock up here with the argon federation let's see if i can sell the uh illegal west somewhere done. also we need to get myself those um it's an honor to have you aboard i doubt that oh wait we can actually get the promotion yeah, that actually would not be bad at all. Let's get five of these, five of these, ten of those. Uh, anything else? Yeah, we need to get this stuff open. You know, the Iron Blasters are great for destroying shields. One on them on this ship uh, would be great. Because shields are just annoying. The Pulse will just do enough damage. I don't like... Well, do I like it? The shard? It has a spreading damage, but it also has a fall off damage. Uh, if it falls off, like, once the shard battery shoots, sometimes you just see something like bounce off. There is a possibility that it will hit. Um, it will hit one of the neighboring ships, and they usually, well, they kind of don't like that. Uh, what is having the scanning array? Okay, so it's the satellites. Okay, we can do seven then. Uh, let's confirm that. Uh, let's get up. Uh, let me quickly go over the... Come on. Argon. Let's receive the ring. We've been watching your work with great interest and wanted to reward you for it. I'm pleased to present you with a new rank amongst our organization. Of course, this rank comes with great benefits. These benefits are tied to the rank, so if you lose the rank, the benefits go too. But with your record, I'm sure we won't have to worry about that. I hope you find these rewards fit into the work you've done and make the most of them. Oh, and you may also find that certain organizations under our jurisdiction now have interest in you joining their ranks. Once again, thank you for your efforts. We look forward to working with you more in the future. Good luck out there. Uh-huh. Great. So we could now take the police license and I'm actually going to do that even though it costs me, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it for later. We need to get to plus 20 and the reason for it is at plus 20, if you look in your relations, you say that faction will not send patrol ships to areas in which your asset has been repeatedly attacked. Well, that all changes when you reach, like, plus 20. You get that. So this is going to be quite an important step. Also, it has the corporate, uh, company trade offer subscription, which is great to have. Because you don't have to keep track of new stations that are being built. They know that they're there. They know what they require. And if you're dealing in, say, Claytronics, hull parts, energy, and stuff like that, weapon components, that's so handy information to have because every new station will require them and every new station will pay top buck to get those items so it's going to be quite important with it Lardy, once we hit 20 to actually get that and then start growing our empire into a positive way so we can actually get that 16 million paid right now that would be such a huge Hello. chunk of money that we we're just shy 10 million let's not do that so let's quickly go ahead drop these laser towers and that is actually where this is going to be Auto not the end okay. of the episode but i think it's the final mission from do are you going to do okay that's the final mission of the Tikva uh, Free League. And eventually you'll get a message from Bosita about an intruder. And that's the one we're looking for. And then, of course, I'm waiting for your suggestions in the comment section or join me on Discord. Uh, get my role from the content creators. And uh, yeah, we'll, we can talk about that. Because when we commit to a storyline... I kind of want to finish it. So we have to be careful that we do not pick a storyline that ends with me having to deliver a large fleet 
<sighs> so yeah, we'll definitely have a discussion about that. Okay, meet you at the place where we drop those towers and then we get ready for the final bit. Okay, let's quickly drop these damn laser towers. Deploy military one, two, three, four, five. Do you have a moment to come and see me? We're yeah. We're getting close to finishing this. Auto let's go. Engaged. Okay, I'll meet you at ring. Okay, here we are. I also checked out the trade corner. Luckily, no shot on any anything. Thanks for coming. We're doing our best with the instruction that Dahl left us. But to be honest, a lot of staff are not happy. Given the losses we've suffered, many of them would rather go to war than appease a scale plate. Dahl suggested that I go meet the scale plate lieutenant and hand off the settlement package. That is not going to happen as I'd likely shove that Teledy down the nearest docking shaft. I'd greatly appreciate it if you go and hand them this. Just smile, make the exchange, and get out of there. Oh, then great. we can get on with our lives. Yeah, you hope. Stupid. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Asp. Let's go really mess up Dell's plan, because why not, right? Uh, let's go to the station. So, yeah, interesting bit. There is going to be a large transport ship. I've tried claiming it because I like to really test things out for myself. You can't take it. Autopilot no, don't engaged. bother. Also, there's no need for you to stick around to that ship. Just wait until those parts are gone. Maybe take out the turrets. Um, but anything else is just, you know, a waste of time. Just so, once you take... Once those parts are in a safe place... Get the heck out of there. You'll eventually get to follow up on the mission to find the wreckage. So yeah, let's go towards the station. And uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be the end of the... Uh, Entering system. Morning of the mission. Star. Interesting. Uh, and then we'll go meet up the faction representative and get the spice factory stuff going so I can actually start building that. Well, I'll wait. Well now, I see... Suppose you are here to give me something. Yeah, I do. Ah, of course. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. This was a fun little exercise. Really? I must say, that Dal Busta is a rather interesting man. He convinced me to give Hatikva a chance to repay their debts so that we can all move forward. Yeah, there was a plan. This seems to have been a misunderstanding. The largest debt was respect. Yet, here you stand. You must be a trusted ally of Hatikva, but hardly the figurehead I expected. If Hatikva will not show me the respect of submitting to me in person, I am afraid this business arrangement has reached an impasse. I wonder, will you reach Hatikva in time to warn them, or will you be greeted by wreckage? That's, uh... That's a good question. Fly to a tick for space. <laughs> Do they have that? Okay, well, let's take a look how we can. Let's get out of this. Immediately Please. get to traveling mode. Get out of this territory. Let's undock. Because, of course, might not be the figurehead they expected, but they don't absolutely care for us at all. Let's just boost quickly out of here, getting into traveling. Pilot, what is going on? What is going on? What do you think? Against our assets. We don't have the forces to deal with this, especially in the outer reaches. Even the local law enforcement isn't keeping up. I'm going to contact the Argon. This has gone far enough. Until they step in, help anywhere you can. I'll send you data on where we need a hand. Autopilot entering system. Morning star. Follow unknown ship. Unknown ship. Alright, let's take a quick look. Larkin, Morning autopilot. Disengaged. Alright, so this ship... Stay. Holding position. The crew seems to be abandoning ship. Something hit us. 
Let's start with the shield gen. Actually, we don't have to. Where's the weapons? Shield, shield, shield. Traveling. Traveling. Wind up your business. There we go. And there is Falcon, that Vanguard. guy. This is not going to work. You will regret these actions. Yeah, stay close. Stop. No, and I don't want to. It's because you got the steroid firing at me as well. Yeah, that's not happening. Let's go. We can go. Where's the uh, the pots? They're over there. Slow as ever, of course. You don't need to stick around. Uh, made it to plus seven with the uh, the Patriarch. That's going to be nice. I'm going to be loving getting to the plus ten, getting that promotion, and getting most likely a dragon and a police license thing because hunting Xenon will give us those uh, secure containers as well as oh, it, it it could be good money. Definitely could be good money. This is Argon there we go. All Hatsikpa ships are to disengage and return to secure Argon space. Captain, I suggest you go out there. The Argon are rounding up Hatsikpa and skill plate alike. Before they bring me in, I'll send you whatever payment you're owed. Hey, you this better. This really did end up a mess. If you see that Teledy passed you on your travels, fire a few missiles from me. As for Dahl, he's probably laying low for a reason. I'll send his last known coordinates. Keep out of trouble. Yeah, you really, really made a mess of this, uh, Reen. Absolutely made a mess. Let's do that one for the thumbnail. Alright, put the hunt back in. Let's go towards the next location. And quickly take a look. So, uh, we had the trade going. And, wow, actually, that is not bad. Holy crap. Like, this is a joke. Okay? This, this. This is an absolute nightmare. But this one. This is absolutely gorgeous. That, that's that's really good. 90,000. Well, no, don't mind me. Don't mind me. We'll definitely start building those fleets once we get more uh, level 3 pilots. I definitely will keep my eye open. So, if at some point you'll see that um, we'll have a fleet over there that's because one of these distribution guys actually got it to level three now you can get level three books by doing missions uh like helping in wars but also for the taladi trade league you'll have to be you know a bit more into the taladi territory and i will actually do that to get a few of those level three books because they will do great i also want to check out the fill shortage orders for our own empire see if that actually does a thing ship within sensor range no life signs detected unmarked black box detected yeah i know let's go get that and there we go unmarked box black box decrypted logbook entry added Come on. Logbook. Uh, Delbus's freighter was found close to his last known location. It appears that they came under attack, most likely by the scale play pack, perhaps in an attempt to silence him and his crew. They appear to have that appears to have been an attempt to reach the escape pods, but neither Dal nor his crew have been seen since yeah that's uh, that's great isn't it uh let's head towards opos hopefully by the time we get there dell will also be there uh, i want to wrap this up neatly so i'm actually recording a tiny bit longer than i usually do but uh, thanks to the cutting out the traveling you won't notice a thing about that so let's uh let's meet up to the pos
Oh yeah, cutting back real quick because I started talking about something and I never actually showed what I was talking about due to the global orders. So, response to an attack, you can say escape and deploy laser towers. Uh, we're going to be adding that to pirate harassment, escape and deploy laser towers. I'm not sure, I might have cut that bit out uh, knowing myself. So yeah, I will notify myself this is mainly only for the advanced auto trader and eventually the global response might be the same but we'll just see what happens okay now before we dock there is this plunderer heading our way and if he is going to do what i think he is going to be doing that is mainly hacking the station and making the station eject um its uh, materials then, then we will have a problem, actually, because I'm not going to be supplying a station that will be harassed by plunderers like that. Because I don't want to constantly buy the same material. So, if that is actually going to happen, then the hacking and teleportation will take a while, actually. Yeah. Okay. So, what did I tell you? What was going to happen? Here's a cargo drone, coming from the plunderer. There's my graphene. And now we, lo we are absolutely lacking graphene. I'm not sure if we like, can see something gone. It could probably be in economic settings. Graphene is the blue line and you can see there is a dip. Last day, last week, last hour. Yeah, there's a dip right over here. So, storage levels. You can actually see the energy is going down. Oh dear. Uh, the graphene as well, taking a dip over there. There is... It's not going to happen. I'm sorry, we're going to be taking away the money from the station. We're no longer going to be buying anything in. At the moment, we'll cancel a research because I am not going to give the skill play pack money by, you know, hacking my station, 272 energy cells uh, and the graphene. Also, I, uh, I actually detoured myself to the Atikva station because I wanted to check out the trade corner. Uh, Dell hasn't shown up. Hopefully he will... Um Captain, this is Bozo Tar. Wow. We have a situation. Perhaps it is best if you return. That was precisely where I was waiting for. Uh, now we can go back. Now he's double busted. That is absolutely uh, then pilot engaged. the uh, the end of the mission. So I'll meet you up over there. And then uh, we'll talk about what we can do next time. Docking granted. Successfully docked. It's an honor to have you aboard. Okay, guys, here we go. Quickly, come in. I cannot be sure, but it seems like we have an intruder. Perhaps some long dormant entity has awoken inside this facility. Or maybe beings from the parallel realm have found a way through. Sorry to disappoint. It's just little old me. Don't look so shocked. I should be the one who's surprised to see you running this place, of all people. Intruder, would you be so kind as to take two steps back so that I can enact the purge protocols? And you, dear Bora. A group of split approached me to track you down. Luckily for you, I find such tasks rather troublesome. Hey, what happened? After the scale plate situation worsened, my ship was targeted. We didn't have much of a chance and only a handful of us managed to escape in our pods. Once I was sure the survivors were safe, I started to piece together what happened. Reen turned herself in to the Argon police. She's working with them to help disrupt scale plate activities in Argon space. It appears that she didn't follow my instructions closely enough. A plan which hinges on the conduct of criminal madmen is not much of a plan at all. If you observe something long enough, you can account for anything, even madmen. Okay. I started to hear rumors of a mysterious station appearing out of nowhere. Given that I just lost my pride and joy, I was looking for a new start. So, I broke in. 
I was expecting to sweet-talk some top-secret government folks, but everything led to the Boron. And you? You are an interloper. I'm the best damn interloper this side of the multiverse. With my analytic abilities, your resources, and the Boron's prickly demeanor, we can do anything. What do you say? Okay, let's, uh, let's do it. You won't regret it. I'll start measuring this room up so I can get my equipment in. You will do no such thing. This is my laboratory. You'll hardly know I'm here. Okay, now with that, that is going to be the end of uh, the episode. So we actually got ourselves the advanced auto trading setup. We got Del Busta, like we honest, that like I promised. What I'll do in between is get the blueprint for the spice factory. And I also want to start mapping out one of the other factions, uh, probably the pyramid uh, or the, the hop, one or the other. It doesn't really matter. Uh, because we need to start building up relations with those factions as well. I still hope to get to plus 10 so we can get the better ships from the Patriarchy like the Dragon and really actively start hunting the Xenon over in that uh, side of the galaxy. As for that, my question to you remains the same. What do you want me to do? Um, in terms of main storylines. Uh, let me know that in the comment section so I can look to that. And also, uh, whether or not we'll start a new playthrough, I'll decide on Discord uh, later this week. As for now, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to help me with the YouTube algorithm gods by sharing the video, leaving a quick like, comment, subscribing, that sort of stuff. Thank you all and see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.